For as long as I can remember, I have loved comic books. Marvel, DC, it didn't matter. And today, we're going to just talk about that just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome once again to another one of my wonderful vlogs. Basically me rambling on and not knowing what I'm talking about. But today, we are going to talk about comic books. I love comic books, and I have since a very young age. When I was young, growing up, my father was an over-the-road truck driver. And he'd be gone for several days at a time. One of the things that he would buy to keep himself entertained on his downtime would be comic books. From heroes that he grew up also what also reading. Um, he read The Flash and he read Green Lantern. Now, although they were different characters, Jay Garrick to Barry Allen, Alan Scott to Hal Jordan, he still really enjoyed them as he was older and when he would come home, he would bring the comic books home and give them to me. Now, at that age, I, I couldn't read them. I was unable to read at eight years old. And um, I would sit down for hours and just study them and work on trying to understand them and read them. And essentially, with a little bit of help from my mom, I... Uh, I taught myself how to read through comic books. And that is why, to this day, my favorite character is still Hal Jordan. Um, and my, my love continued. I remember getting, uh, at some points, I remember Archie had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic book that I would read because I enjoyed the, the cartoon show. Um, and I remember this one time, my grandmother, like I'm sure many grandmothers do uh, what hit garage sales and this one time she went to a garage sale and they had comic books for like a nickel each and so she just she bought all like 15 or 20 of them that they had and she brought them and gave them to me and in there there were uh there were comics that i'd never seen before like x-men fantastic four spider-man marvel comics i had seen them but i didn't know anything about them and i knew i had liked the Flash and Green Lantern, so I pretty much stuck with what I knew I enjoyed. But getting those comic books really kind of opened me up to the whole other side and, and more characters in a different universe. And I fell in love with those characters too. I am firmly somebody who does not believe you need to pick a side between the two because... Marvel and DC both have a wonderful history, wonderful characters, and you can love both equally. And I truly do. Um, I really fell in love with the X-Men, Spider-Man. Um, another big favorite of mine at the time was Captain America. I really enjoyed Captain America comic books. Um, along with keeping with the DC stuff... Um, of course, The Flash, Green Lantern, but uh, The New Teen Titans was another one that I really began to enjoy. Um, because they were younger superheroes, like I was. So along the way, as I grew older, um, and a lot of my other friends who had liked comic books stopped, I continued with my passion. Um collecting here and there not so much going after like those mint condition first appearances i collected what i read and it wasn't so much that i wanted to make any kind of money or anything like that off of them it was much more that i kept them so that i could enjoy them again later i've i've reread wonderful storylines and single issues that I just really found powerful. And I still do sometimes to this day. Um, for me, they're one of the truest forms of like the good guy versus the bad guy trope. The, the 
the hero's journey, and I love them immensely. Um, one thing that I really kind of want to touch on is how different times are now. Because, see, when I was growing up, where and when, maybe both comics were not popular, nor were they uh, comics were not popular, and I was bullied and picked on a little bit for okay, it was more than a little bit. I was picked on, I was bullied a lot for loving comic books. Um, and to see where it is now to where it's mainstream and everybody has such a loving feel for, for the genre itself, for the be it in the movies or the comics themselves. It it, it really feels good to see how, how far it's come. A few years ago, being an adult and having my own money, I'm, I was able to start going to the Comic-Con here in Kansas City, Planet Comic-Con. And it is something I now look forward to every single year and I turned 40 in March on Comic-Con weekend and that's how we are going to be celebrating my birthday is uh, me and my kids and my significant other and we're going to go and we're going to we're going to go enjoy Comic-Con and uh, I'll probably try to record something there for you guys um, last year when I was gone when I went I got to meet Kevin Conroy and if you Click on the link and go over to the Twitch page. Me and my picture with Kevin Conroy is right there on my Twitch page because it was one of my uh, favorite moments I've probably ever had. Um, also got to meet uh, Chris Claremont, one of my favorite writers. Uh, did a great job on the X-Men through, God, most of the time I ever read it. Um, especially during those uh, those young years when I was reading a lot of a lot of X-Men. A lot of it was Chris Claremont. He's amazing. Um, and so many more, and I'm excited to go again this year and meet even more, and every time I meet a creator and I get them to sign something, I make sure I shake their hand, and I look them in the eyes, and I tell them thank you, because I know that they put just a little bit of their soul onto that page when they, be it wrote, or drew, or colored, so I make sure that I always, I always thank them very deeply for, uh, for sharing what they've shared, and, uh, I do want to say, you know, not too long ago we lost uh, we lost Stan Lee, and uh, he's somebody I never got to meet that I wish I I would have. Um, he helped shape my childhood like flat out. Spider Man, Daredevil, Ghost Rider, all those characters that I read, you know, he helped, if not create them, the universe in which they lived, and he is a uh, he will truly truly be missed. Um, today I don't buy as many physical comics, um, they take up a lot of room and, you know, gets harder and harder to keep track of them as I get older and things get shuffled around, but, uh, I do subscribe to a couple digital services so that I can continue to read and, uh, introduce my children to them, uh, the ability for them to read them on their, uh, on like a tablet or on a laptop makes it easier on them and my daughter's starting to really enjoy uh, Wonder Woman and Supergirl and Batgirl um, and that's great I love the fact that I'm kind of passing it down to her too um, as we go along I'm sure I will talk more about individual comics that I love um, individual characters maybe individual issues but for, day, for today I just kind of wanted to give you an overall kind of the way I feel about them and how they've helped shape me. Um, you know, they taught me that normal people can be great. You don't have to be a superhero. And that's kind of, I think maybe sometimes it's weird to pull that from this comic, but it really did. I really enjoy the, the entire media and I hope, you know, I hope that they continue to do great things with it. But I think that's going to do it for today. Until next time, I want to thank you for being here, for listening to me ramble once again, and I will talk at you very soon.